Yeah, man in my boss. So these are my two cents, you know. They have an African proverb where say it takes a village to raise a child. Crime is a societal problem and affects everybody in one way or the other. So that thing with the notion that parents are at fault when children turn to crime and violence can be argued for or against. When you expel a child from too prolific high school, as in the case of Mr. Linton, at that young age with no other avenue, he might turn to crime because it's there on him. It's the right time doorstep. So therefore, in my opinion, the government needs to implement some sort of boot camp. Not even ah, they need to put in some boot camp. You get to me I deal it. Because at the end of the day, if you bring yourself, school enough for everybody, you know. We don't know why I'm getting expelled from school. Maybe I the badness and him attract the badness or whatever it is, but that's something make him act out. You get to me I say. And them need to find the root of what cause most of this because everybody does sit down and blame the parents from time gone till now. And that no fix nothing because it only get worse. One time you saw one dan or maybe two dan in Jamaica, right? now, I done they on every street, bro. So them need to do something, man. Stop blaming parents because you what? Peer pressure one of the worst thing right now, you know. So a parent can't grow him youth as good as him want grow and when that youth they go road what? See him friend them do a thing, he won't take it up. So to me, them need to have a nether avenue. Yeah man. Some boot camp, send them up a jail to get some of them rough treatment there. Because they must realize that uh, they are left it up to the prison system for work. Prison system now work, brother. Right now to me, see the prison is just and they stop on the journey of crime where a man put on him CV and say, yeah, me they are prison and him come out even worse. Again, see Mr. Linton come out worse. Prison now deterred him from crime. So nobody left it up to the prison system. Look like when they done then got prison. Them have more fun than when them they are road. So that are my thing still. Everybody need to come together and find the solution. Them more than I blame that smuddy and blame that smuddy there. Yeah, man, they need to have a next avenue. I don't even believe that they kick in from school, but if you put in discipline and you can't control the tile, yeah, more cars chaos. So I wanted a place where you have some rough people that deal with them. I mean, I support the beating and the boxing and the kick down, you know, but give them some hard work for the man. Because if you look up on the prison system, brother, Prisoner is a broke stone and fixed road and anything. All them things they done. Uh, any seaman I beat them and burn them sliff and put up pick pan Instagram and them thing there. Worse it all get worse. Yeah, my view. Bless up yourself. Bless, bless up everybody in the group and everything. Yeah, you said the option thing. If the option should be given, I think the option is taken by everybody. Make them own choice and say, everybody take an option as to what they might go do in their life or what they want to become. You get what I say? No matter which garrison you come from, no matter what area you come from or where you live, at some point in your life, you have an opportunity, you have a, ch- a, a choice to make. You get what I say? So everybody have to make their own choice. Me grew up on guns and them things there. Guns, weed, drugs, everything. And me make a, me make a personal choice say, yo, me now go to prison. Two things me say in my life when me a teenager I grew up. Me say, me now go to prison and I don't want to be a teenage parent. And I make that choice for my youth. And me could have got me could have got either way. I could have said, you know, I'm feeling some go bus call like my friend. Me, me decide to say, yo, me now go to prison. So I choose a different route. I go into the hotel industry and say, I go find a job in the hotel industry. And I mean that name lasts forever. So you move on. Things and time are gonna change. People always say, oh you switch and you get of course you have to change. If you know if, if you're not changing your life, then you're stagnant, you now move. You have to keep on changing, keep on changing, keep on changing until you get where you need to be. So I think everybody, the choice is taken where you want to become in your life. If you want to get stuck in our community and say, yo, you know, say, no better now, they make you move on, make you survive, and this is the only way. You would say, okay, the more must scam and the more do this and that and sell drugs or whatever. Okay, cool, that is your choice. But what you are going to do at the end of the day after you make your money? You in it for one reason, just to make money. Yeah? Alright, cool, you make your money. Then what? If you get a mo- if you make a portion of money or whatever, you have to know when to start, you know. I go turn a table and do something positive and cut out and get out of this. But you see the mindset with some of the youth them have is just the easy money and I just debt and destruction. You see if the youth them and make the money and I say yo them I go uplift themselves and uplift them community. Start a business. 
start um, build a house, all of them things there. You tell you to make some money, and the first thing they do, buy a rifle, then buy a, buy a fast car, then want to buy. Then not even know where to park the car, but they want to buy a car. We do everything backwards, you know. We as black people, we do everything backwards. We breed girl and get picnic and have no way to put them. We buy a car and have no way to park a car. Yes, you get what I say? I feel we, I feel we, I feel we um, culture that. I feel we lifestyle that. That's how we do things. Food parents so teach me how to start a business and how to do no investment or none of them things, you know. So we just trickle down and say, you know what, this is the way of life. We're in a different area now. 2021, we're in a, you know. Every month have to make a choice and say, yeah, we know what, we have to uplift ourselves. We can't stand and depend on government. Government now look out for we. We have to go out there and fend for ourselves. Investment. Learn how to start a business. Learn how to network and link with each other. They get what I say? Bring back the love. Everybody look out for one another. A whole lot of things we can accomplish if, if we link together. You know? When we are youth, I grew up. I you know in my in my village. Everybody know everybody and everybody I look out for everybody. You can't go by anybody yard and you can't get a bunch of bananas, you can't get some oranges and you go home and you're good. Nowadays you can't do them things there. You start to know them neighbor. You start to will go to dog or play with them neighbor. All them do a video game and video game and video game, that's it. You so go around go play again, make them own toys and have fun. At them they think they create create a, um, so, a, a decent society, you know. Your network and you and you have social skills where you can intertwine with people and mix with people and learn new skills. You know them things in the And that's one of the biggest problems with, with the society, you know. So right now I just say that we have to just get back to loving each other and just build a relationship with people. Simple thing as that. Kai, it's when the dog bar gets sloppy and everybody has said, Yes, him for dead long time. You know, for some reason, I never see it so. It just never sit well in my spirit. I must rest in peace, even though him get what him deserve, because he was warned. And him get the chance to change him lifestyle. But of course, the system failed them youth. Almost every other ghetto youth, we get clapped well like that. The system failed them. Number one, it creates the various reasons and situations and causes and circumstances, whichever term you want to use. Or the system create it so them can't live like that. Or the system create them. The system use them and push them one side to get to me and say, I don't know if you get the best set of people them in a Jamaica for join this group here, but. 99.9% of the people them talk and act as if like them not come from real ghetto. Like them not some old thief in gunman relatives like myself. Yeah. Like them not, they, like them never almost yet get caught up in a them situation there. I just the grace of God makes some of we still there standing. And now I do some long time in a prison. I know six feet under. You get to me I say. So, you don't know, brother, if you check the levels and the history and the culture where we're deeply embedded in our society, the system start this gun culture, yeah. Zane? And as a result, that's why the youth them are live so because you can't kill my mother, father, sister, brother from the days of issuing out guns to go fight political war and then feel it go so. Zane? And every ghetto police going to go patrol. So they might, the mercy of certain, certain other garrisons and certain other gangsters. So what? Enough times some man have to arm themselves and have to rob and thief and rape. But have to defend. Yo, brother, the thing set a wheel. And everything has to sound politically correct and can be truly explained. But I want to live in a them place there. Yeah. And what? The work for really understand. See? I can do certain things. But at the same time, people have to have understanding. Can no matter what kind of wisdom you want to have, if you don't have understanding and know why some things the way they are, you will never really be enlightened. You see what I say? Liar, right? System fail him, and most of them will get cut down like him. You know, I say, what do you say, youth? 
he posts in us to a youth with a hoodie on him head and a man a ball and me I tell us that it's like I want a ball to cause you know what man can relate to them days there where you feel fed up and frustrated and nothing now work you just feel like give up and start do what you're not supposed to do and look for the goodness to reach him after the man will get scholarship for a guy you way but you don't have a program like that really and truly we reach out to them you in the inner city we're talented in the little countryside them and save them before the gangs and the thugs them influence them poverty and crime send them in the wrong direction so them end up on the asphalt a bleed like common dog you get to me and say brother the society set away you know where it's like crime is being committed for enforce the law some people won't understand what me i say and can't relate you get what me i say the system set away and it have feel the youth them and when i learn say this thing is an ongoing cycle you kill a hundred two hundred rise up because it happened from when and nobody now sit down and examine it and say boy this not work you get what me i say man can't relate so what? We come out and celebrate criminals we get slapped with. You think that make, any, make we any better? You know make we no better because we can't give life. But we quick for take it. So I say, yo, you hear me no man? I can't relate to you no. Know? So if a man get cut down, never celebrate. I go on like me happy feet. In fact, that shouldn't even be done. We are celebrating nobody. Get cut down in the street. You get to me and say, Thing dread out there. And circumstances make some people who they are. And we now make no excuse. Everyone can have ambition and hold up them head and rise above them circumstances. But in the real, reality of life, not for go fall along the wayside. I just saw it go. Them programs they underfund and and the check the, check the levels of them programs there, brother. Check, check the levels of them program there. Look for going on in a society now with this virus. You hear anything about the new ward? I in hospital beds, them shot a bed and all that thing. So you think programs to reach out to get a youth that will be well funded and I reach them certain way? No, it's not. That's the reality. Has, uh, come on, check even the police first. Check the army. Them don't even matter in certain way. See, with, 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 with advanced science and technology for fight crime the right and proper way so you really think a program for reach out to get a youth to go, go be well funded or operate properly no trust me joke thing that programs in place but i joke them they don't really serve much of a purpose brother you have to understand something that is deeply embedded in your culture seeing you know the people them as a nation as a society no matter what kind of program you're setting up you have to go above and beyond you know and root that out of the culture of the people them, you know so a few programs to influence get to you nobody feel like that i go just solve the problem just so you no know. you know understand what me i try to say the people them who your life, you know, brother, you have to influence that to sway their mind, you know. No one and few program now go just change that so no brother. They might look up to dance and community leader or our job, a government job for change and persuade them otherwise because you yeah, are the kids them are the future, you know. You get what me I say? So we have to influence them young mind and steer them in the right direction. <clears throat> you see the one thing who decides to the game, come on to the program and follow guidelines and willing to stick it out, you know what happened? They've been they, they start getting ridiculed by the the tougher ones. Oh you're yeah, a fool, you're yeah, a pussy wall. Watch out, yeah, baby. Your badness turned down. So most are in get to the best of them in most cases. So them fall out and Hold on, there's somebody at my door. Seeking that scar peer pressure. So whose job you think it is? And whose responsibility you think it is? As a nation, for change those, especially 
who are saying, yo, your badness is weak and speaking negatively. Uh, our job, a society job, I hit me and try to show you, brother. See, no matter how well funded you think those programs are, I'm surely they are not well funded. We still have a role to play. See, on every level. And try to change the mind of the younger generation. All right, I make a post last night with Superman being gay and a cartoon character. Why you think that is? Because those people know the science that if you change the mind of the young generation, you change the entire culture and the people. So they are making almost look cool and look like it's normal and it is right. That's why they, re they, they, they do that in with cartoons. Brother, don't think money can change things. If a program is well funded, that cannot change the entire culture and majority. You have to go deeper. It requires far more that me I try for sure you. For see of them you tell, especially the ones already influenced. You get what me I say? Something to you know. A whole heap of things we, 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 we as a nation backward and think twisted, you know. You know how much time them sell new prison for Bill yeah? England offer for Bill new prison. Well, for the wrong reason, but you know what? We need modern facilities. We need new prison. Because here what you see when a certain you would go to prison and experience prison and come out. A college you send him, you know. You send him out for the mass time crime, you know, because of the situation inside of those facilities, you no. Know? Him rather kill than go back the so, you, know? you get what me I say? The government know this and they use it against us. You know what? They don't want no new prison. They want the prison terrible as possible. That is the reason why you find people free to rise up and demonstrate and stand up for them right. Because not even jail you want to go. Because it's inhumane. And the moment them, nobody not going to ask you to jail and new prison. They must go build school and hospital. But in truth and in fact, they realize that we need modern facilities. For decent law abiding citizens can go out they go protest and know set them off somewhere you mean they're not gonna be tortured and be killed and other things happen to them because them stand up for them right and go to jail why you think america england and canada and those countries are like that you have where inmates are classified non-violent go over this or violent go over this so we don't know them something in a jamaican society and the system of play we're not use it against me to keep in line and people don't realize that because they're blind. I'm not pre on a simple level, you know, brother. Because I've been there, done that, you know. You get what I say? Who go right up and demonstrate with all who are going? Wait till November come and see where all this Prime Minister come with a ram certain things done with short. You get what I say? People for open their mind, them wisdom, knowledge, and them understanding and stop the things on the simple level.